hello everyone welcome to part 23 of laravel 10 tutorial in which we are first creating the admin panel and we will come to working on the cms pages and in this video we are going to integrate the suite alert 2 uh, okay so uh, that is the attractive alert box okay uh, like uh, uh, see there are two types of alert we can do one is the simple jquery alert and one is the suite alert 2 jquery okay so that is the simple jquery alert that uh, first of all we are going to integrate uh, like uh, we can that uh, do do that with the help of jquery okay and that suite alert 2 we are going to install the package for sleep suite alert 2 that is very attractive uh, that will look uh, means uh, it will look superb okay uh, very uh, much attractive i'm going to show you that how it looks okay so we are going to integrate these both uh, first of all, we are going to in integrate the simple one, then the sweet alert. So let's start. We are going to integrate this on delete. Okay, once the use uh, the admin clicks on delete, uh, so maybe the admin clicks on delete by mistake. So we need to show the alert here. First of all, simple alert. Uh, so if the admin will click on yes, then it is going to delete. Otherwise, it is not going to delete. Okay. So for that, I'm going to open the CMS pages blade file here. CMS pages blade file where it is here it is okay so here uh, you can see the delete here delete functionality this one is the delete link here okay so here i'm going to add uh, one class here uh, like uh, i'm going to add here the class confirm delete confirm delete also i'm going to add here the name uh, like cms page whatever i'm going to delete okay so I, i'm going to make the dynamic jquery function that we can use for all the modules okay so that's why we will pass everything to that function uh, with the help of uh, this class name so in title i'm going to make it like delete cms page okay so uh, now uh, on the basis of this confirm delete we are going to execute our jquery uh, so uh, that we are going to add in the custom we have the custom.js uh, that is located in admin so here after uh, this one we are going to add here uh, the simple jquery that okay confirm the deletion of cms page i'm going to do it like this okay so here i'm going to add uh, on click of confirm delete confirm delete okay we can simply add the click function uh, though we can also add the on click function as well okay uh, yeah we are going to add the on click function okay uh, here we are going to make it like uh, document on click on okay so this one we are going to put here and like this okay and here function okay we are going to use this one first of all we are going to add simple alert just for testing return false okay just to see whether it is working fine there is always a good idea to debug our code so that the control is going fine okay we are going to click on this delete icon ah uh, oh sorry he deletes that because uh, maybe uh, we able to see here confirm lead the page is set confirm lead must come here or uh, on click of this confirm lead function lead on click this must work fine i'm going to see what happened here okay so here i think this one now we are going to try once again click on delete and this time it is working fine okay so like this we able to debug our code and can resolve the issue okay so now we are going to remove this one and here uh, we will uh, take the variable name okay we are going to get that uh, the, the name from there there we have passed the name attribute in which we have added that cms page okay then we will add the confirm if confirm are you 
show to delete this uh, then we can simply add that plus name okay whatever comes here it will go there as well okay like this i hope it's clear to you and here return uh, true if in case you click yes otherwise uh, we will return false so now we are going to check this simple alert simple jquery alert let's click on delete see it is asking are you sure you uh, are you sure to delete this cms page cancel it will not do anything and if i click on ok i am going to click on ok this time and this time it will delete this one so this is the simple javascript or simple jquery alert for you you can simply use this anywhere in your website so this is dynamic as well you just require to uh, use this one anywhere in the website just the name and class you can give okay you can give just name and class and just in name you can give like in the categories module if you are going to make the e-commerce website uh, in the in the categories module we can add the delete category feature in that you can add name is category in the products module name is product in the attributes module name is attribute in the section module name is section okay so you just require to change the name and everything else will remain the same okay so now we are going to integrate this sweet alert okay as the name suggests sweet sweet means sweet alert is the kind of the sweetest alert that you have ever seen okay so that we are going to integrate uh, and i'm going to open the website for this sweet alert uh, sweet alert here i'm going to search for it sweet alert and i'm going to open this website sweet alert 2.github.io okay so this is the website we are going to install this sweet alert 2 straight away we can install with the npm install sweet alert 2 for our project okay so this is the project 10 folder for me that is in the laravel 10 i'm going to install this sweet alert 2 here okay simply install it like this npm install sweet alert 2 and it is installing also uh, we can include this script uh, if you want to include this script you can include this script as well and then the sweet alert 2 will also work fine so we are going to include this one resources views admin layout okay in layout dot blade dot uh, here i'm going to add this script at last here okay sweet alert to we can also comment here uh something like uh, sweet alert okay like this okay so after adding and after installing the sweet alert uh, now we can test uh, we can test with any of the alerts here like we can test with this one uh, so that we can make sure that the sweet alert is working fine okay uh, so here i am going to copy this one and we'll paste it uh, uh, somewhere like uh, here we can uh, paste just for testing here we can paste it or uh, we can do one more thing here mm okay let's uh, paste it one then we are going to remove uh, okay we have just pasted it just check this one and here we are going to return false let's see if it work fine or not okay i'm going to refresh here okay I'm going to click on lead here see it is working fine okay so uh, see you can click on lead and it is working fine okay we have just tested it don't worry we have just tested it so i'm going to remove this one uh, see we are going to disable uh, we're going to comment this one maybe uh, we require this in future uh, so we are going to disable this one and we are going to add the new and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to disable this one let's comment this one okay we can simply comment this one and we'll add new one so here i'm going to comment uh, confirm deletion with sweet alert okay so here once again uh, we are going to use 
this one here a bit like this okay so here uh, we are going to modify here first of all uh, see uh, this URL uh, we are uh, we will not uh, add this URL here so I am going to command this URL we are going to give this URL there uh, in sweet alert dynamically okay so that we can use this sweet alert for all the modules dynamically okay so now uh, see here we are going to modify uh, confirm lit is fine name is fine and see in name now we are going to add lit cms page uh, okay keep it like this name cms page title lit cms page uh, then uh, see link we have disabled so we need to add the another uh, we need to disable this one like this javascript white zero okay so now no, one more field i'm going to add here record okay sorry in the record i am going to send here the uh, cms page like this okay and one more record id record id and in record id i'm going to send the page id okay so this one page id in record id and uh, in record i'm going to send the actual the url this one cms page see this one we will add there and always this one will change like it, it will be delete category in case if we are working on the category it will be lead product if we are working on the lead product okay then we are going to pass this product here in the case of category then we are going to pass here the category and here also like uh, uh, if we are manually working then we just require to give it like this but now we will pass it like this i am just telling you that this record will update according to the module okay so now our module is cms page here you can see our module is cms page so we are passing here the cms hyphen page in record so it differs from module to module okay so uh, after this uh, we are going to modify here uh, okay so yeah so here we are going to pick this record as well as the record id both okay and how we can we are going to pick, pick in the same way like we are picking the name earlier okay so here it will come the record and also we are going to pick sorry record and also we are going to pick here the record id okay so both we are going to update here record id as well as record like this okay both we will get now after that we are going to use here the uh, that uh, swell fire that we have used uh, this sweet alert code and here I'm going to search for something like are you sure because we want the uh, Confirm box. Okay, so this is confirm dialog. Okay, so confirm button we want to use so we are going to use this one I am going to copy this complete code and will paste there after variable record I'm going to paste there this one Okay, and then we'll align this one uh, like this okay so i'm going to use this one are you sure you want to be able to invert this warning fine true fine this one fine yes let it fine okay so if uh, result is confirmed then later that one is also fine okay so everything seems to be fine and here after this one uh, we are going to add here window uh, window dot location dot href so that we can send the user to the uh, delete route okay uh, that we have removed from the link earlier uh, from that uh, yeah from the link earlier we have removed but here we are going to add like this uh, here you can see the admin slash delete we are going to compare it with this one admin uh, slash delete uh, hyphen then this one module name will come this one record will come in there okay it will come here record so we're going to use it here plus record plus record okay then record id okay then record id means module id okay here whatever it is that page id we are going to use record id okay so we are going to use 
here the record id uh, record then uh, see after that we require this uh, slash as well like this then plus once again then record id like this so now uh, we are going to see here uh, okay so i'm going to add a uh, module one testing module here like anything i'm going to add here test let's add the test test url test description test meta title test test everything is test okay for testing click on submit now we are going to uh, delete this one let's see click on delete see message is coming are you sure you won't be able to revert this are you sure dialog box is coming so beautiful dialog box it's actually the sweet alert looking too much sweet okay so yes delete it or cancel i'm going to click on cancel on the first attempt yes it don't do anything it have not done anything okay because i just click on the cancel button now i'm going to click on delete button once again and this time i'm going to click on yes delete it so this time i'm going to click on the yes delete it button and let's see yes littered so the entry has been littered and you can see the cms page uh, has been littered here okay so uh, like this we can able to integrate once again i'm going to show you okay we are able to delete uh, this cms page easily uh, with uh, some uh, beautiful alert okay so here see once again i'm going to show you like click on delete yes delete it if i click on cancel it will not do anything and if i'm going to click on yes delete it it will delete it okay so you can see the message here as well cms page later stressfully so we able to integrate the sweet alert as well and we're going to use this for all the modules okay so you can uh, it's your wish that you want to add the basic simple alert or you want to add the sweet alert it's your choice so we will come up with some other thing in the next video so please stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye